Sneaky, sneaky. Ho, 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 ho. I'm pouring my knife inside this man. What night? Sleep tight. And don't let the bug bugs bite you tonight, my friend. Yo, what's poppin' Spay? I hope you have a wonderful day, and welcome back to Chernobyl Light. In the last episode, we went to this bunker and found a little kid down in the bunker. This bunker was turned into some type of prison, and these guards kidnap a kid. We have no clue why, except the fact they want to use him for, um, as a trade. To trade with someone we don't know who, though. So we don't really know that much. But, um, we are going to, uh, go to sleep, so we can go to the next day. Um, so yeah, yep, let's go to sleep, I go, and I will be back in just one moment. All right, let's see, anyone's gonna talk to me this morning? Let's see, hello, um, Ratman, hello, you gonna talk to me? Nope, uh, what, I'll go, nope, oh, wait, oh, talk. yep, uh, hi, what's up? Sure, let's talk. It's about my mother, rather, oh. about what she found. I didn't tell you this before, because I didn't know if I could trust you. I, I think I know why they took my mom. She was dangerous to any oh. It wasn't a coincidence. She saw something. Even took a photo. You see, when NAR first came here, they pretended to be friendly. Hmm. They offered free examinations to several sample shells, and even promised my mother medical assistance. It was all a ruse, of course. My mother was invited to their lab, and she ended up seeing something she wasn't supposed to. Interesting. Ask about the lab. She's inside their lab. You should have told me about this sooner. Do you know what she saw? They were running experiments with Chernobyl light on human subjects. All volunteers, of course. Oh. Soon oh, after no. that, people started good. vanishing. My mom included. Yikes. Um, ask about the photos? You still have the photo. No. My mom always kept it on her. And ask Is me about any evidence. other proof to back up your mother's account? No, but I can't see my mother lying about something like that. She only ever had the Samuel Shell's best interests at heart. Huh. Interesting. Let her continue. My mother was the least selfish going. person I've ever known. She wanted to help everyone who suffered from the Chernobyl disaster in any way she could. Oh, yeah. She paid the ultimate price for her kind heart. Now, I have to find out why and make this right. I get it. Really. She sounds like an amazing lady. Yeah. How can I help? I agree. I know it's a lot to ask, but I need to know what my mother saw in that lab. I need you to go to Lenin Square and get inside. There must be something there incriminating NAR. This will help your search for Tatiana as well. If she's on right. own, she must yeah. somehow be part of all of this. It sounds... won't be easy, but I'll definitely try. Yeah, 100%. Let's do that. That sounds that sounds exciting. Eeyore. Oh, a moment. Please. Yeah, Leo. I heard you talking to our she wolf here. You don't want to go to Lenin Square. I don't think you're ready. Who knows what you'll be up against? I think I've proved myself quite capable. No. I think I have. You can harness the power of Chernobylite. An impressive feat. But what if they find a way to disable it? Uh, I, I, I appreciate the good storm, but like, the I think I got this. Would. I admire your grit, but I've seen guys like you in the field. They never quit until they're dead. Well, uh, thank you. I think I'm gonna do something real fast. I have some things I'm gonna make and grab. Never mind, I don't actually have much shotgun shells at all. Um, but I did grab a lot more AK ammo and a handful extra. Oh, yeah, hold up. I see, uh, two more slots I'd like to fill up. Um, now I have 60 rounds for my, for my handgun. Um, that should be plenty of ammo, um, for adventure. Um, if we are to go to Linden Square. Um, so. Let's go to Pietit uh, Control Center for ourselves. Everyone else do missions around the area. You go for the ammo drop, medicine drop, uh, talking can do it. Munitions drop. All right, everyone set to a mission. Let's head to Linden Square. Let's go. Oh. All right. Pietit Central. All right. Head for the lab, Igor. Oh. Should be in the middle of NAR's camp. See if you can slip in unnoticed. Don't get any fine unless you have to. Sure thing, Mom. And yep. don't worry. I've got my sweater. You've got some issues, don't you? Okay. Now's not the time to get distracted. Does Ico have mommy issues? Go the lab and try to reach her without drawing attention. You don't want to fight all these guys at once. Ooh, a lot of radiation. I got one problem though with our not fighting. I don't like NRA soldiers. Like that one right there, you see him, you see him? Right in the head. Oh shit, I missed. Shit, I missed. Shit. 
Okay, there we go. I actually landed. Even though that's elite soldier, dead. And that one's dead. They're not that difficult. They really are. And then I can just take all the ammo and all those nice steel plates and it's, uh, I can just use it on them. Oh, 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 oh. God, there's a lot of them. That's an armored soldier, dear God. See the little dopey ass walk, like, walk he does when I shoot him? This guys love it. <laughs> Every time I was shooting them, I was like, they were doing like a downwards dab. With a gun and all. Really, what I'm probably just gonna do is like hit and run tactics, honestly. Like, they're not that difficult. You do hit and run tactics in this game, and yeah, you got it. I mean, it's kind of realistic if you think about it, too. I mean, if you're outgunned, outnumbered, out everything, fucking ambush them. Like, ambush them and run away the second that, you're, you're, that they know where you are. Just hit and run tactics. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy and you'll mortal a bunch of people. Yes. These tips and tricks to declaring war against your government. Please, no one take that out of context. I do not want the FIV at my doors uh, uh, tonight. Holy shit, there's a fuckload of them. Alright, hit and run tactics time. Let's go. Dope. That guy's just immediately dead. I honestly thought he was gonna take more than just one shot. I mean, I guess that's what happens when you land a headshot. Stealth takedown. I haven't done one of these in ages. You know what? That was actually kind of fun. There I go. Oh my god, there's an actual ton in this building right now. Jesus. Is head pop? No, wait. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Don't don't look, children. Dear God. Oh god, wow. Alright. Oh, that that was mashed potatoes of a brain, if I had to say so. Jesus. Wow. I mean, I'm not surprised either. I I did sh shoot him in the head. Oh, that's an armored guy, too. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I want to sneak attack this guy. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. Stealth attack. Yeah. I can't see anything. My lights are off, and I don't want to turn them on. Because if I do, they will notice me. Where's the next guy? I need to drink some uh, alcohol to fix my psyche. I've killed too many people. Oh, God, I forgot about those lads. Okay, sneaky, sneaky, behind the elite guy. Sneaky, sneaky. Ho, 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 ho. I'm pouring my knife inside this man. Good night. Sleep tight. And don't let the bug bugs bite you tonight, my friend. Oh. Okay, no one noticed me kill him. Uh-oh, green shit's coming back. You know exactly what that means. I know exactly what that means. There's no time to fucking gilly-gag anymore. What the fuck? Oh. Little friend. Sort of. Wait, what? Where have I heard it before? Right away. Send everything to the main laboratory tent. Don't make me wait. Yes, sir. What the hell? Dude, Hello? Who are you? What are you doing in here? Why I'm are you talking fire. to that person? Who was it? You're... You're Kiminyuk. Dear God, please don't hurt me. I asked you a goddamn question. My boss, you mean? I, I, I don't know his real identity. Uh, almost nobody does, I swear. Oh, you interesting. Really no one knows the Black Starkle. I can see you're scared, and rightfully so. But it seems you're deliberately trying my patience. No, not at all, sir. Uh, please, I, I can't tell you what I don't know. But I can tell you other things. Okay. Just ask. 
Just don't kill me. I can be useful. You'll see. Vanya, my patience is wearing thin. Where are those damned chemicals? Take a call. But casually. Relax. Yes, yes, I, uh, I'm sorry. I'll send them right away. Uh, apologies for the delay. Spare me the excuses and move. I need that core die as a boss. I can, I need it now. You two continue. What do they need me. now? And for your sake, you don't screw this up. It would be best if you forgot I was ever here. Of course, of course. I won't tell a soul. Okay, so we need to go down to that location. But before we go down to that location, I'm taking care of two guards over here. Take all that loot. And now we can skedaddle downstairs and meet up with, hopefully, meet up with the Black Star, I guess. Maybe this time we actually won't be mortared by them. Is it literally inside the lab? Yeah. Look at the tissue structure. This used to be a liver, if you can believe it. We need to collect samples. That thing... The brain is hyperactive. Look at the chart. But it still doesn't respond to any stimuli. The previous what subject the had quite a different reaction. What's behind this difference, I wonder? Age? Sex? Interesting. All right, let's sneak up on these guys. Hello? Vanya? Finally. Who the hell are you? What did you do with Vanya? Yeah, I'm not Vanya. Stay very still if you want to live. Please don't hurt us. We're scientists. We're not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not so going to. Dr. Mengele. Are you performing a vivisection without anesthesia? Administering shots of typhus? What are you doing exactly? Yeah. I really yeah, want to know. Yeah, me, me too. No, nothing like that. We're not beasts. We treat our patients as humanely as possible. But you have to understand that... Scientific advancement requires sacrifice. <laughs> Other people's sacrifice. Mm, yep. You sure make it sound that. sinister. But yes, everything we do is for the greater good. How does it work? Are you shooting these poor souls up full of Chernobylite? I can't talk about that. The NDA we signed is very strict. I don't give a shit about it. Did you just say NDA? Are you for real? Stop being a corporate stooge and start thinking about your own life. Sure, sure, you're right, of course. We started out giving them shots, but that was just the first stage. We're way past that now. <laughs> uh huh. It yeah. was, you see. The fatality rate was. Uh, it didn't bring the desired results. We've moved from administering nano solutions to directly editing human genomes to enhance them with Chernobylite. We've developed. You sure about that? Enhancing them? CRISPR. Your patients or subjects, whatever you call them. Especially the locals. What happened to them? Which ones? There were many patients here. Oh, gee. Some of them didn't make it past the final phase. The others, we don't know. Don't Dear God. The question. Make him talk. Look, please, can we all try to stay calm? Let us explain. Modifying genomes is only the first step. Next, we yeah. induce a state of superconsciousness in the subject's gamma brain waves. It's basic neurology. The sympathetic nervous system begins to release Too many big enormous words. amounts oh, of damn. energy straight to the brain via the thalamic gate at the brainstem. When the thalamic gate opens, the energy flows to the pineal gland, and well, there you go. I don't like to use this term, but it opens a third eye. A third eye? Right. Then what? Enhanced by Chernobylite, the pineal gland can do incredible things. Release all kinds of energy. And even influence physical objects, as in telekinesis. You're torturing Damn. people so they can bend spoons with their mind? God, what kind of quacks are you? This is all following the scientific method, believe me. These are closely monitored, replicable experiments. Anyway, when the subject is ready for the final stage, we put them in an induced coma. Contrary to what you might think, it's for their own good. Explain and fast. What is this? Final stage. 
Our boss calls it communion. It's when the subject's gamma brain waves interact with Chernobylite's mental waves, or, well, to tell you the truth, we don't know exactly what it is. Chernobylite is like a virus, in a way. It's not exactly inorganic matter, but neither is it a living organism. It's something in between. Oh, and it what? produces a type of brainwave, even though it clearly has no structured organic tissue. Ask about the corpse behind Who's your them. patient here? I'm not sure, but it... She must have been carefully selected. Selected? How? Did she volunteer? Or was she maybe run down and captured by soldiers in the woods? Yeah, talk, talk. bitch. I'm not familiar with the selection process. Our boss would know. But we know very little about him. What's your boss in charge of exactly? The entire biotech division, pretty much everything Chernobylite related, but wow. mainly the impact on human physical and psychological functions. Oh, uh, ask about the well, What's the purpose though? of this communion? This is where it gets really interesting. I want to know. You know that Chernobylite can be used to create wormholes, right? You've been doing it yourself, but these wormholes yeah. are special. Haven't you noticed? They're not a purely physical phenomenon. I don't understand. What else could they be? We know what singularities in the tunnels should look like. We know what they are in theory. Hmm. But has anyone actually been inside one before? Bullshit. I've studied Chernobylite too. The exotic energy it contains is powerful enough to create quasi-black holes and passages between them. We thought yeah. so too, at first. Uh, but think about this. What if there was an organism or, or a virus an entity powerful enough to create its own singularities. No biological organism could encapsulate that kind of energy, or survive if it did. A living entity would be torn to shreds. But Chernobylite is not a normal biological yeah. organism, is it? We have no idea what it is. Just try and consider the possibility that the wormholes you're walking into are not something created outside of Chernobylite. They are Chernobylite. You're traveling through the veins and corridors of its multi-dimensional body. But what does that have to do with this communion thing? Isn't it obvious? We're trying to communicate with Chernobylite, or somehow influence it through the mental energy of our subjects. But Interesting. getting inside this thing's mind, or whatever it is, must be a truly disturbing experience. You're fucking insane, both of you. Yeah. You Jesus. need to stay away from the morphine cabinet for a while. I've heard enough. All right. Um, I already know what Chris Boy is, but um, as for solid enough. data, let's get All this I've shit. All i so far is a bunch of gibberish. I want to see the actual research. Where do you keep your data? All the research data. Check the database in this computer. Everything can be accessed from here. It's password protected, isn't it? Promise not to kill us, and we'll tell you. Don't worry. I don't give a shit about you. Password. Two three hash nine eight s dollar. Okay, easy enough. Listen to me very carefully, Igor. This research, this data, it's too dangerous to exist. My people died because of it. Delete everything. It won't bring my mother back, but at least no one will profit from her death and the deaths of others. You need to download this research, Mousy. This is the Rat King's brain stash. It's dangerous, yes, and inhuman. But it could contain the key to defeating him. Downloading the data. I don't care. I'm sorry, Olga, but I am downloading this data. This is too important. This could hold so many things for us. It looks like the Black Stalker is enhanced somehow by Chernobylite. <laughs> the NER put him in charge of safeguarding their science secrets. Okay, now we know. These guys are telling the oh. truth. They really achieved something incredible here. Why did you do it? God damn you! You did good, Igor. We will turn this information into a weapon again. Oh, I can. I know you're insane, but you think well sometimes. A giant portal. Mission's been complete. All right. I want to just get out of home. Oh. Sorry, Olga. Ah, let's get back home. Olga does not like us at all. Torkin liked it, though. I'm sorry, Olga. Nobody deserves to die so horribly. I was hoping for some good news, but 
Perhaps I was foolish. I apologize. My mother, these people, they were all just used, processed. How could anyone do something like this? Anyway, did you find anything of value? Not sure yet. We are a ton There's I our bet. theories about Chernobylite mostly. I don't know if I want to get into the details yet. Try me. I'm not a bookworm like you, but I'm not stupid either. Well, oh, yeah? NAR seems to think Chernobylite is like a giant turtle that carries our universe on its back. Damn. I figure they can tame it and ride it wherever they want. Like a pet. A turtle? It's just a metaphor, but the scientific theory behind it is no less insane. Right. Uh, thanks for trying, I guess. Yeah, I didn't understand a damn thing I just said. Um, the truth about not NRA's experiments. Let's see if everyone was successful. Yep, everyone was successful. Everyone, you get food rations. Let's go. There we go. We did it. Oh man, those green portals are everywhere. Let me just load up all my stuff into storages and I'll be right back. Okay, let me go to the room and end this video. So, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and like and comment down below. And if you want to support the channel, follow, go to the link down below and click the little uh, description, not description, go down in the description below if I could talk. Um, and click that link. It goes to my Patreon page. It's one to five dollars a month if you want to have all access to my content, exclusive content of me being just stupid. Um, and also your name will appear. Hey, go to the Patreon and subscribe. Um, but with that being said, that's all I gotta say. So yeah, peace.